Read a clock story time. Today's story is The Best Christmas Present. Winter came and snow covered the valley home of the small fox Boo Boo. All the animals hid in their houses. Boo Boo didn't like this winter much, but there was one day for which he was anxiously waiting. Tomorrow was Christmas and Boo Boo was so excited that he, he could not fall asleep. What gift would Santa Claus have for him? A new ball? Or skates? Or maybe a bicycle? Or maybe suddenly something flashed in the sky? What was it? A falling star? A plane? Or maybe a giant bird? Whatever it was, it was dropped beyond the dark forest. Boo Boo jumped from the bed and put on his scarf. Ooh! It was really cold outside. Earlier the day, Boo Boo and his father had cleared the snow from around the house, but the valley was still deeply covered in it. The road ahead would be difficult and frightful. He finally crossed the dark forest and started sniffing and looking around. Although he sniffled a bit, his nose could still smell everything and there was a smell of something unknown. And finally he found it. It was a big red sack. Very strange, thought Boo Boo. How is it possible for a sack to fall from the sky? Sacks cannot fly. Then he opened it and everything became clear. This was Santa Claus sack. Here is the gift for the hedgehog, for the ducklings, for the squirrel, for everyone. Evidently the sack had fallen from the sled and Santa Claus flew above the valley. This is great, said Boo Boo. He picked up as many presents as he could and hurried up back to the valley. He first stopped at Mole's house and looked through the window. It looked so nice and inviting inside. The fire was burning in the fireplace and the Christmas tree glittered. Boo Boo wanted to go home but there was no way. These gifts must take it to their intended recipients and so he placed the gift for Mole near the door and left quickly. Then went to the house of two rabbits and left their gifts. There was a laugh and a scuffle inside the house. Boo Boo enjoyed playing with the rabbits so very much but this night he had an important task to do. Then he stopped by the squirrel's tree. It was already late and a quiet snore was heard from inside. Boo Boo felt sleepy so he pinched his tail and then jumped up and hung the gift in front of the hollow. Boo Boo delivered the gifts the whole night. It was becoming harder and harder to, be, to move forward. For a strong wind began to howl and push against him and soon a heavy snowstorm started. It was hard to go on in the snowstorm. He couldn't see anything and only his sensitive nose helped him to keep to the track. But then the snowstorm became a blizzard and Boo Boo, scared, frozen and weakened, hide in the sack. 
He wanted so much to be at home with mommy and daddy. Boo Boo rolled into the ball, wrapped himself with his tail and fell asleep. The wind continued to blow even stronger. The snow was covering Boo Boo's footprints and Santa Claus's sack. Boo Boo stretched his legs and woke up. He was covered with a thick blanket and was toasty warm. He looked around surprised. He was at home, near the fireplace in the living room. Am I dreaming? wondered Boo Boo out aloud. No, it is not a dream. He heard a familiar voice. Mommy, Daddy, exclaimed Boo Boo filled with joy. You scared us so much, Boo Boo," said his mom. "All the animals were looking for you, but there was no footprints. We were lucky that your father's big nose finally sensed your smell, and together with the moles, we dug up the sack. The important thing is that you are safe, and everyone got their Christmas presents. Not everyone," said his father. "When we found you, there was one gift left in the sack." Your gift. Come on, open it. Let us see what Santa brought you. Boo Boo smiled and said, "I already got the best Christmas gift. This night I found out that the only thing I want for Christmas is to be home with you and mommy. This is better than a sack full of gifts." the end don't forget to like the video and share it with your family and your friends do subscribe reader clock story time stay tuned for many upcoming videos i hope you like this one i'll see you soon till then take very good care of yourself bye bye